You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. I'm sad, Renee. Why are you sad, Callie? Because the show's almost over. Not yet, though. Not There's yet. more. Yes, there is. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Renee Ritchie. We are back for more CES live coverage here at CES 2014. I, I guess I should be glad it's almost over because my voice is going. <laughs> We're going to take back. you for some hot tea, some lemon, some honey. We're oh, going to get you fixed great. up. Great. <laughs> but right now, I'm going to let somebody else do all the talking. That's Ralph good. Sorella. How are you? <laughs> good. You need a hot tea booth. I Where do. is that? I don't know. Probably Center Hall. I mean, between trying to talk all the time and and then it being so dry here. Yes. Like I woke up this morning and started talking to somebody. I was like, oh, hey, hey, excuse me. <laughs> we all like that Brady like, Bunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, Digital Phil just said in the chat room that he's been watching you for years. Uh-oh. And uh, for those who don't know Ralph, um, <laughs> he has been, well, on the Howard 101 channel for forever. Yeah, you've been you've been coming on for a while. Yes. Since uh, the beginning, a, pretty much. A regular guest yes. for the uh, Geek Time show. Yes. So, he and I go a little while a back. A little ways back, and this is the second year we're broadcasting. You're going to come on tomorrow. Yes. Uh, and it's, you know, I'm new to this, and I was just saying that, you know, it's almost better not to have to come to the show. Like, the show that you do is great, because you, you weed through everything, because it's just so much stuff, and I don't know what to do, and I have ADD, and I'm just like, <laughs> Oh, shiny stuff, look Ooh. at that. I got news for you. Even if you don't have ADD, you do at CES. Yes, yeah. I, I was, some people were coming up to me and um, I, I barely introduced myself. I was like, who was that? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody starts talking to you, you don't want to be rude, but you're like, whoa, what's that? What just yeah, looked by? Yeah, exactly. There's like, did you see the fake robot over there? I, I'm really upset with that. I, they had me for a minute. That orange place over there, oh, they have yeah. this thing going like this. It's really cool. But it's a guy in a suit, yeah. right, on a Segway. <laughs> you know, oh, that's did, wrong. Did you see that either this year or last year? They, they, they got me last did year. Did they? they? I was did. like, wait, that arm is like a little too she fluid. <laughs> yeah, and then I realized, okay, the base looks like a segue. I'm like, oh, you got me. But <laughs> it was appointed so cool. by a human. That's what we've come to. It's, yes, exactly. You know, you're going to come on, and I want to talk to you about it on the show, but let's talk about it here for okay. a minute. These 4K, 8K TVs, I mean, yes. 6,000K, it's getting a little ridiculous to me because, you know, most of the world doesn't have a 100 in screen, and that's where you really have to... Well, that's where you have, they have to see the difference. Right. Uh, Sharp had, right. <laughs> Sharp, had, <laughs> Sharp had something interesting. They had like an upscaling sort of thing that gave you, yeah. for half the price, they give you something similar to it. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Well, you know, upscaling is something that we've seen in traditionally in TV, the TV world going back well, many from years. From SD to HD, they did a lot of upscaling. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's natural that we're seeing it with 4K as well until we get enough content. Yeah, how do we, we're talking we don't even about yeah, there's how we no get content. the content. Like there's, there's no yeah. disk for it, there's yeah. no internet bandwidth for it. Yeah. yeah. Sony it's, puts a giant server on your carpet. I mean, right. It's, right. <laughs> and now, th you know, we were talking about this yesterday on the show. It's like you get something and it's really popular, like 3D. Like there was a bunch of 3D last year, there's no 3D this year. It didn't, so, yeah, it didn't stick. It didn't <laughs> stick. A few and far between here at CES 2014. That's why they're so hyper with 4K, because 3D did not work for them. Yeah. They got to go to something yeah. else. And this is a lot easier. You don't need glasses. <laughs> but, you know, the other thing that, well, as I go through this, and you see it's so hard for anybody to stick out, and you see, ca you see cases and cases and cases, and it sort of bums me out, because I see this technology, like, they, like they, uh, the blue flame. Yes. Like, that's a great little thing, but now I have cool. to buy into that case. Like, yes. Yeah. Can't there be a universal case that we can? Because then I had my, my sister got me for Christmas this great uh, iPhone lens, but that you know screws on, and yeah. that needs a case. Right, right. It's like, yeah. and then the phone well, changes, you and know, then the Oloclip, right? The what? The Oloclip. Which one's? Oh for yes. Your iPhone five. It yeah. just snaps on the top of your it's, phone. It snaps you don't on have like to have right. A case yeah. Specifically for it, you know. So, yeah, I didn't. So I didn't want to tell my sister that and bummer. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me the wrong one, Lauren. No. <laughs> now you just did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Lauren. The geek <laughs> etiquette rules need yeah. to be established. Yeah. Better. You know, I was a little annoyed. It's like you know, she gets to give me a list for Christmas. I gave her a list, and I, that was on it, and right. I gave her the exact thing, and then she just got me another one. Well, that's no. fair. I yeah. mean, you know, I'm just saying, but there are, you know, there are a lot of products that are 
proprietary into their system. Yeah. Um, there are also a lot of products that are working towards trying to become a universal mm -hmm. system. But you know, with Android on the market, it's so difficult to Absolutely. be able to do that because everything is different. I mean, look at these two different phone sizes. Yeah. You know, uh, it's I mean, like it's. Its strength is yeah. its flexibility, but that means you have to deal with all the flexible alternatives people right. come up with. I, is it incredible, though? Like you know, especially with the iPad. I mean, you've got yours there. You know, you've got a pad, whatever it is—an yeah. iPad, a tablet. It's like something that didn't exist three years ago is just, you're, it's everywhere. It's yes. just everywhere. It's, it's like, how did you get along without it? More powerful than the computer I had three, four yeah. years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I, and with the apps too, it's like, you know, I don't go to websites most of the time. If they, they have an app, you just go to the app and everything's there. It's like, why not just do it that yeah. way? Well, what about uh, health and wellness and fitness trackers and stuff? That's big here. What, That's big here, but you know it? what? I'm waiting for apples. I, I already, oh. I, or, I already oh, ordered. You are so into Apple. I am. I love it. I love the way it looks. I ordered the. Uh, I just ordered the uh, the new Apple Watch thing. I gave them. I just mailed them five hundred dollars. Said I'll, I'll take it. Whenever it's ready, send it yes, to this address. Yes, see, I yes, I'm a super early adopter. Right, right. Because I, I, but seriously, I think they're gonna nail it because. You know, like I know, I saw that new version of the Pebble Watch. Are they here, by the way? They I couldn't are. Find Actually, them. I had one on my. You took yeah. a picture of me with the new Pebble, the Pebble Watch. Pebble Steel. Is it, Steel. Is, it, is it a little small? Is it like wearable? Yeah, I mean, it looks like the Pebble, but it's it's a yeah. little bit square and it's got a nice metallic finish. It's got yeah. a little Pebble brand on the front of it. Did you like yeah. it? Yeah, I I personally, I mean, first of all, being a woman, um, yeah. I, I'm I've got smaller wrists, right? And right. so smart watches are not where they need to be for me personally. Right. I liked the look and the feel of the Pebble Steel, um, but I, I got five seconds to play with it, so I yeah. I didn't really get into it too I, much. I, I, again, I just think that. You know, even though Steve Jobs isn't there anymore, I think Apple is going to nail it because it's like I think, you, like I was walking around with my uh, with my phone the other day in the city, and I was looking for something, and it was shooting off notifications, turn left, turn right, and yeah. stuff. And I had to have my phone in my hand, but I really, you know, hey, if it's on my wrist, but I don't, you know, it's got to be. I don't know what it is, but it's not. I, you know, I don't think it's that Pebble Watch. That's fun, and it's fun to play around with, and it's like a first version of something. Yeah. But you have to want to wear a watch. That's with Apple. They're very patient. Like they didn't make a smartphone until they were trios and Blackberries. They right. could say, "These, we don't like this. This is what we're going to fix. We can yeah. solve right. this problem." Right. And it's not sure that they know what problem to solve with the watch yet. Right. I think they've had a couple stumbles this year. Yeah. You know, and yeah. they, they tried to get stuff out too quick. I'm not a big fan of the new iOS at all. Okay. I don't. Well, that's, I think, the first time. Yeah, yeah. Are you, you're, are you happy that. to hear that? <laughs> not happy. It's too but elegant. Just surprised. Don't give me elegant. It's too I, I'm, elegant. Like, I'm like looking for the little arrow, and even when you do your little, you know, you, you, you can do go into accessibility, and you can change both yeah. on it. But it's still, it's like I keep missing it, and now I got my mom an iPad, and oh my God, that's a nightmare. I'm like, <laughs> she can't tap it right, but it's really hard, like, you know, and I'm going blind. Yeah. I, I'm 60 now, so I can hardly see. And, uh, You're not. No. But you can't see. You, can, you can't see this stuff on the new iOS. It's not. It's not. It's a, it's a bit of a stumble, I think. Right. You know. So um, the the chat room is asking uh, where uh, John and Baba Booey are. Actually, John and Gary are doing a live wrap-up show now. As we oh, speak. are they? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they're here. They do the. They host that last gadget standing yes. thing, uh, yeah. which is pretty fun. So they're going to come on tomorrow and talk about that a little bit. Awesome. Which is fun. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot, of, you know, if, if people haven't listened to Geek Time, um, what they is should. it all about and what should they be, uh, it's, where should they go? It's called Geek Time. I'm into geeky stuff. It's pretty much with the stuff that I'm into. Like, you know, it's some, I got to feel passionate about it to right. talk about it. And I get a lot of, uh, from you, of not, you know, a, a hard time about, you know, just being into Apple, but I'm, pa like, I like it. I really like yeah. it. And There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not into no, Android. Not and I can't. <laughs> not at all, Renee. <laughs> I can't speak, I can't speak to Android because I don't have any of that stuff. And I don't use, and you know, I, you know, I, I almost got the uh, S4. Yeah. Because I had the, uh, I had an iPhone 4. And I was just like annoyed. I wasn't getting it, yeah. and I was like, "I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm done <laughs> with these guys. I'll teach them. <laughs> uh, we're Steve Jobs. This wouldn't happen with Steve Jobs is still alive. How many times do you hear that? Right. Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, I just uh, it's uh, you know it might be comic books. Do a lot of interviews. Yeah. Trisha Helfer is going to come on next week from Battlestar Galactica, and she's got a new show coming on. So do interviews, talk comic books, tech, and uh, and we're here doing live shows. Yeah. Fun. What else have you seen at CES that you're really excited about? Well, 
This is what I'm really excited oh, about. He's, he's got notes in everything. On your badge, if it says press, yes. you get free stuff. I didn't realize that. <laughs> so you go up and you go, uh, do you have any? Uh, you have anything for the press? Yeah, and, you, say, uh, you don't just hold your hand out with, and show them the badge. Like this. It's yeah. like this. It's like with a bag. Or I, it, I do have the bag. <laughs> That's another thing. You can get any kind of size bag you want here. Right. Like everybody's got a bag. It's like trick or treat. But uh, yeah, I went over to the Gibson, and you don't even have to beg. You're just like, oh, you're with the press. Here, here's some set of headphones. I don't understand. Is this your first year? At Second year. Pr press last year you weren't uh, like I don't know press? if it, I yeah I think I was or but maybe now just didn't use but, it. but yeah I, I know next year that it better say this cuz uh, my co-host Chris Gore said something his said something else and he was he didn't get one <laughs> I felt <laughs> really bad <laughs> yeah <That's> funny <laughs> yeah so so that was good I saw the fake robot I talked about yes. the cases I'm going to go see the uh, I got appointments to go see the Oculus that headset yeah. display yeah. I heard amazing. that's amazing yeah, yeah. yeah. every yeah. time someone watches it you know exactly when they get to the part with the fake snowflakes they all just start looking up. Really? Yeah, because you can look around with the whole yeah. thing, right? Unbelievable. Yeah. So now, get, are you big into augmented reality and gaming? I, I'm not big into gaming. Um, I do have uh, I do have the new Xbox and PS, and I ha and I, I've been stuck in this traveling nightmare. I haven't even been home in like three <laughs> weeks because I went to oh. Florida for the holidays oh. and I got stuck there and uh, I couldn't get back home, so I'm here. And so I got boxes of stuff at home. My neighbor took my boxes and putting them in. She goes, "You got you like eight boxes here." I was like, "I can't wait to get home and get my toys." <laughs> uh, but. I think uh, augmented reality yeah. is another thing that nobody has kind of done the right thing with yet. You yeah, know? It, well, we're still obviously at the very beginning yeah. stages of augmented reality. Uh, it, the first time I saw it years and years ago, it was all about advertising and yeah. uh, you know having this information available to 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 supplement the advertising world. And, and we're playing around with all sorts of different ideas. It'll get to where it's going to go eventually, but I think yeah. it'll wind up, wind up merging with some yeah, other Yeah, uh, again, it's yeah. like you've got to get that, that the one, one person who might not even be in the exactly. business of that just has to have that idea, oh, you know what this should do? How it can this change a life. This should yeah. merge with that and boom, and you got it. Like, I always love the story, and a lot of people don't know this, that, uh, that somebody walked into Steve Jobs' office with the iPad, the big thing, yeah. and and he goes, no, not yet. They're not ready for that. Make it smaller. Put that into the phone. And that's so brilliant, you know? And then you go and have the iPad. But augmented reality is fun, but you do it, and then you're like, okay, you know, I'm done with that now. Yeah. You know, it's cool to hold your thing up and see a, see a map come to life and go like that. But I guess yeah. with Google Glass or something, maybe, how do you feel about Google Glass? Um, you know, it's certainly very interesting. Um, I, I, I think it's obviously, again, at the beginning stages of where it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, but wearable tech in general is is a great thing. And I just am fascinated by where we're going to go. It, it, like, yeah. I see all this stuff. And, and that's partly my job is I see it all. And I'm like, OK, well, this is cool, but yeah, I right. want more. <laughs> well, it's also it's a great time to be alive and, and see, because it's such a, I mean, this last you know, less than 10 years, we're seeing such a shift, and these little kids are not going to appreciate it. I know, right? You know, they're like, they're running around with phones. I saw it's the worst phone they're ever going to know. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, their their exactly. phone is going to be on here somehow yeah. when Apple gets that down too. Yeah. And the boom, you enter your calls <laughs> and it's stuck in your head or something like you that. You only have 4K <laughs> television? What? what? Yeah, How what's the matter with you animals? What's the matter with you? Yeah, but it, it, it's fun. I mean, at the end of the day, this stuff is all fun. We, we love yeah. it, right? Oh, Even totally. if it's not great, and you start picking it apart, and you're like, oh, wait a second, like <laughs> three years ago. That's why I'm not a big, like, I don't like. I still love the iPhone One. I love that form factor of it. I love that it's rounded. That's why I have this bumper on it because I hate a sharp edge on it. I love this bumper case because yeah. it rounds it out. You yeah. know? And like, well, think I, I, I think people get caught up in the. I would say, you know, because you can get crazy. Yeah. I gotta get that. You don't have to get it. Think about like a year ago. You didn't, this didn't even exist. Right. Calm down. Right. Wait. Well, there's the early adopters, and then there's the mid-early adopters. Yeah. Unless it's from Apple, get it right away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's that thing that's going on my wrist. Get it before announce it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that, I think that somehow has to slide down or something, yeah. or, or maybe be more of a bracelet than an actual watch. Because that's a weird thing, because you always have to have it on then. I don't think it's necessarily going to go on your wrist. You know what Mark my do? words, people. <laughs> you know what you want them to do? Like, what would you want from an Apple Watch? Would it be health, fitness, notifications? Well, 
you know, I, I did like it that Pebble does have now an app store for it, yeah. and people are, are coming to the app store, and you can see that, you can see how this is going to be useful and not a novelty, and as, right. as soon as companies and things start adopting it, then you'll see, maybe you'll walk by something, you can program it to let you know where you are, and like, hey, something goes off, because again, like you're just talking about, between the technology and the software, it's so much stuff, and the, the I, I don't even, like we're saying, I don't think it's people making this stuff as much as it's the person who's going to get the idea and say, right, because exactly. I remember walking around with my, with my flip phone and my camera and something else and I said, geez, the, the, and it all felt about the same size and I said, this really just needs to be squeezed together and that's what Apple did. Yeah. Yeah. I, here we go with Apple again, but <laughs> they really did and even swiping, I mean, everything, everything does that. So, you, you know, if you're an Apple hater, you still got to give them credit because you, your Galaxy thing wouldn't exist without them. I'm sorry, I hate to tell you that it wouldn't <laughs> exist. It wouldn't, it, what's that? Oh, uh, yeah, this, that, that wouldn't this exist. Is, uh, yeah, this is that, that wouldn't exist, Callie. <laughs> so even though, even, the way that even it looks. though the, the thing around is, uh, <laughs> and you know what I, my, you know what I am totally geeking out on. I love it every day. I went into the Apple Store recently to get Apple TV, uh -huh. which I don't, I don't like. That's oh, you I don't, don't like the Apple don't TV. Don't like Apple TV. Yeah, yeah, okay. let, let, let you buy into that expensive iTunes and you have all that content. I'd rather go with other stuff, but. Um, <laughs> Poor Callie. <laughs> I'd He's got my cough button on. Um, I love, I love the, uh, I love the iPad Air. I went in to yeah. get the Apple TV, and that the iPad Air had just come out, and I picked it up, and it is so light. And what they don't talk about too is it's thinner. Yeah. It, you still have, it's yeah. thinner. So now I can do that. You know, I have my Mini here, but I can. You I'm can just as happy. Ca yeah, you can thumb because that was my thing. I couldn't really thumb type with it, yeah. and it's so it's about the size of this. Now they came out with the new Mini with the Retina display. But it's heavier. Yeah. I don't like that. Don't, I don't even want an ounce heavier on my Mini. And that's another thing. I don't care between a regular display and retina display. Somebody's like, I got to have retina. You don't need retina display. What are you going to see? Uh, so much detail that's going to be so much better, right? Well, that's the same idea as 4K and 8K. Exactly. And you're about 4K, <laughs> no, aren't I'm you? saying, yeah, that's too much. It's like, I, I, like, I'm looking at my Blu ray of the Avengers, and I'm like, and I got like a 62 inch TV, and it looks amazing. Like, how much more amazing is it going to look? Uh, it can always be more amazing. Yeah. 2K more amazing. 2K, you have faith. I, like I said, I'm not, I, I don't uh, early adopt everything, so I'm waiting yeah. for 20K. Okay. <laughs> when do you think that's coming? Fair enough. I'm sure Maybe it's in Tokyo right now. Yeah, I just yeah. want to step into it. I'm sure somebody's working on that yeah. somewhere. Hey, so um, actually, I thought of something that you, I think, will really actually like. Um, yeah. The, the, it, it's actually from one of our sponsors for today. Um, I saw you playing so around with it. The BusyWig app. So, um, I, I don't. I haven't played with the new version, so this is a new version, and John has been the one to play with it. But basically, you can take um, you can take this device, right? This would be made the, the controller device. Can I just can I just uh, say for one second? Yeah. What's it? What what is it? What go? What is this in here? What, what is, is the, what, What's the this tablet is an in there? IPad. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go on. <laughs> Fair enough. They put it's the best thing in it, but go ahead. This is on iOS, right. and so it, you can connect on like an, an any more like up to ten, yep. I think, different iOS devices, and have different cameras working simultaneously. That's cool. Switch yeah. between them. So live you just tap. Right you just tap here, the switch. Just like we are doing. Like like switch between cameras real quick. Mark, switch between cameras real quick. Just any cameras. There you go. Whatever. Okay, now switch again. So you can switch between all the different iOS devices. You can do that devices. with VisiWig. That is so cool. Isn't that awesome? It, that's the other amazing thing about the time we're living in now yeah, exactly. is that you can, you, if you have a vision, you're not you're not halted by technology or the right. cost of getting something done. I, I remember reading something. I think it was Steven Spielberg about like eight years ago when you know he he said that. And I remember reading, and it always stuck in my head. He said. You know the, the thing with the technology is that you're never gonna you're not gonna be stopped by, by by how expensive it is. I mean, yeah. look, like how expensive should that you know that thing should be thousands of dollars. Know. You know what I mean? It was. And it's, it's like now. yeah, and it's just you stick your iPad and boom, you're done. You can take one iPhone with that app and go out and cover CES all by yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I see a lot of that stuff. To, you know, tripods and different things, yeah. and you got remote tripods that can spin around. You yeah. can do your own shit. You don't even need a cameraman. You nope. can sit there <laughs> with your thing and boom, boom, boom. But uploaded. you need these guys down there. You need the sound guys. Right, right, you need right. the sound exactly. guys. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> by sa by the way, I love that? these headphones. Yeah, they're great. These are not the headphones, they're mics. But, they're, they're, yeah, the, the but do you mics, have a, you so have a headphone in yours? Too? I actually yeah. am using IFB. So That's uh, cool. I'm hearing, for those of you who don't know what IFB is, I am listening to the control to Mark 
Mark is speaking in my ear right now. It's like the secret saying service. Saying weird things. You guys can't hear it and they can't hear it. So yeah. that's, that's what I That's be distracting. Does. Do you get to, like, you get time on the floor? Um, like, like how much, so you know? I actually went to press events like at night. So each Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, we went to press events. I have walked like halfway down the South Hall. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, I got to go. So like, I got to get in town earlier. I came in late Tuesday oh. with flights and stuff. I got to yeah. go for the press stuff. Cause yeah, I'm, if cause you I have imagine press you get, yeah, you and get I'm, all sorts of sneak peeks. I, well, and also free stuff, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the free stuff. Let's get back to the free <laughs> stuff. Three more bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did a broadcast from the Ford booth, uh, and it was like Mustang. I was like, you guys, what, are you done with this on Friday? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drive home, because I think that I got to get back to New York, and I don't know. The yeah, flights exactly. are all still messed up. I'm pressed. I deserve this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll talk about it on the show. <laughs> Speaking of the show, the show is Geek Time. The show is Geek Time. Let and me. It's on Sirius 101. Oh, you want Fridays? Say else? Friday. Yeah. Uh, Fridays at noon, and then uh, and then uh, we're also on. Hold on, because we just switched some times. We're also going to be on. 8 p.m. Saturday, oh, Eastern. fantastic. So, and then it'll get replayed and stuff, and we'll okay. talk about it tomorrow. But it's Howard 101, and uh, at my geek time, I tweet stuff out like that. Fantastic. So cool. definitely go check him out. Follow him on Twitter, at my geek time. And we are going to say goodbye. Oh, for, for, for now. now. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Now. You guys, listen, because John P. and I will yes. be on geek time. Yeah, we're still on. We're doing this whole mixture we're thing. He's right behind you. Oh, there he is. He's, yeah. He's stalking you. Nice to meet you. you. How are you? <laughs> and also, uh, actually, uh, Classic Mac Kevin had an idea earlier that you should come on Geek Beat on the regular live show That's on right. Friday. So you should bring you in on Skype or do I something would, I would love like to. that. I would love to. I would love to. My co-host now is in L.A. Yes. And, we, you know, we just do it. It's, again, it's amazing. And Magic. I just stick on my, you know, put my <laughs> iPad and I can see him. It's, it's great. It's fun. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ralph. Have thank a you. great rest of the show. I hope you I get more free stuff. Yeah, well, me too. If anybody's <laughs> listening, just bring it over. <laughs> if anybody's listening, press badge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us all day long. We have thoroughly enjoyed having you in the chat room. And uh, Renee, any final words for the chat room? Chat room, you are amazing. You are handsome. You are generous. You are charming. Wow. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Wow. What, yes, Sirius does day, pay uh, for my travel. I'm just looking oh. at the chat room. <laughs> you got free, free travel to get free stuff. It's a great life. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another full day of coverage. Thank you so much to VisiWig. Uh, as you saw, that is a really cool app. You I can can't wait to get that free win one. Some free apps <laughs> at geekbeat.tv slash contest. You can win free cases from Sadio. Free stuff. Ooh, free stuff. And you can go check out QNAP. I think we already Maybe we haven't given away the QNAP. Try anyway. Just keep trying. Keep trying. Enter everything. <laughs> a QNAP device. Scotty well. Vest, uh, AR Shield. I mean, yeah, there's so just much. Crazy amounts of stuff. Thanks to our sponsors for making this all happen. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Renee Ritchie. I'm Ralph Sorella. <laughs> Bye. We are out of here. Live long and prosper.